Wow, it's, uh, it's very, uh, how do I put this? Disco at your place. You like it? I decorated it in your honor. Oh, really? <laughs> That's very nice. And what should I feel honored about? Well, everything. The furniture, the gas pump, the fridge, everything's from the U.S. I want you to feel completely at home when you come here. Oh, that's so cute. Oliver, you're so sweet. But we don't all have Cadillac couches and cow fridges back home. You shouldn't listen to everything you hear. Ah, okay, okay, it's silly. It's just that I don't know all that much about the U.S., but I do dream about it. I've never traveled, you know, other than the fields of Tuscany and horses. There isn't all that much that I've seen. I'm sorry, I thought you'd be happy. You must be homesick, so I thought that, you know. I am so touched, Oliver. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings by laughing. It just surprised me, that's all. If you want, I'll tell you things about my country, and one day, I promise we'll go there together. Awesome, that would be great. I want to see the Grand Canyon, the Statue of Liberty, skyscrapers. Yeah, we'll be able to see all that. But you know, there are lots of amazing things to see. Places you can't even imagine. For now, you're here, and I want you to feel at home. So I checked, and there are a couple of apartments available in the village. I wrote down the names of the owners. All you have to do is choose. You're great, Oliver. Thank you. You'd better be quick. They look like pretty good deals. I'd go with you, but I'm completely swamped. Flora has just piled the work on me again. Don't worry. I'll be just fine alone. Hey, don't hang around here too long. You'll miss out on the good deals and that would be silly. Get moving. Go find the owners. If I don't use a key...
It's getting really late. Better get to bed. Hello, sir. Hello, miss. So, your car, what was the problem in the end? Well, you were right, little lady. It was, in fact, the radiator. It was simply clogged, just like you said. Oh, you see? Women can also understand engines. Well, up to a point. But when you get into pure mechanics, they've got to step down. A woman's hand all covered in grease. It's not a pretty sight. If you say so, then again, it's just as ugly on men. But if the car is fixed, then what are you still doing here? Are you on vacation? In some ways, yes. Our misfortune really got to me, and I realized how fragile my taxi is around here. I was at the mercy of even the tiniest mechanical snag, and no way to repair it in a decent amount of time, not to mention the poor quality of service I would be giving my clients. I'm guessing that a bit of maintenance work on your only work tool would have helped you to avoid such snags. But anyway, not everyone can be a good mechanic, can they? And of course, people either like or dislike the idea of getting their hands all covered in grease, as you say. Bye now! About the apartment you're renting in the village? Oh, uh, we! Oui! Oh, actually, I'm not the one renting it. It belongs to my parents. But they asked me to take care of it. What a drag. I said to them, do you see rental agency written on my forehead? But they're worn out, so... <laughs> no. I'd like to visit it. Is that possible? Of course you can! Here, take the keys. It's up in the village heights. The village heights all the way up at the top of the village, okay? Like the name would indicate, right? Uh... Oh, yeah, right. Not a bad way to remember it. That's a good mnemonic device. Mnemonic what? Mnemonic. It is not what to remember things you forget with. You're not from around here, are you? No, I'm American. From California. 
but that's definitely one word that I've never heard before. Cool! You're American? I've always wanted to go to America. Oh, but it's just too far away. I mean, I don't even have a car, so... Yeah. Well, um, I'll come back and see you once I make my decision, okay? You're on, girlfriend. Hello, Mr. Squeegee. How are Art and the artists doing today? Very well, young lady. Very well. But know that my name is Luigi and not Squeegee. With that silly joke, you remind me of my younger years and all the schoolyard jokes we all made about each other. Always making fun. It's a bit old. Oh, sorry. It was unintentional. Forgive me. Oh, well, you're forgiven. I am magnanimous, young foreigner. All the more so since it reminds me of when I made my own errors in comprehension while discovering the world like you. Oh yeah? So you were an artsy globetrotter? Well, yes, young lady. But at the time, I did a different kind of art. Really? What kind of art did you do? Dance, young lady. I was a dancer. But not just any old dance. I was a clogged tap dancer. An original dance that my taste for mixing various forms of art and cultures enabled me to develop. It was the meeting of the vitality of tap dancing and the power of my deep connection with this earth. A real concept. You're speaking of it in the past. Alas, yes. You know, as with many new ideas, people are reticent, and my success was only critical. About as high as the jumps that my technique allowed, if you see what I mean. Um, I think so. Now, about your travels around the world. Oh, those. Those are other stories, miss. But, well, art calls. I will tell you about that another time. I'm counting on it, Mr. Luigi. Hello there, Father. Hello, Miss. How are my parishioners at the stud farm doing? Times are hard, but we make do as they say. So, have you been the priest here in Belayou for a long time? Oh my, it's been almost 30 years now, miss. I can tell you that I know my flock very well now. And were you born in this village? Oh no, I was born in the next village over, but you could still consider me to be a local dog. And that is, incidentally, what my superiors said when they sent me here. You mean you didn't want to come to Belayou? Let's just say that I would have rather avoided it, but orders are orders. Why would you want to avoid this village? Oh, miss, that's a bit of a personal story. A story between me and, and this village. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cry. Oh, oh, not to worry, young lady. After all, I'm the one who started talking about it. So, I will tell you more, but later. For the time being, I have a service in the oven, as my sexton would say. I'll come back and see you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very curious by nature. open. Now, what's this apartment like?
This one's great, but I'll wait and see what the other one is like before deciding. you have an apartment for rent in the village? Could I see it? I'd be interested in... Oh, yes! It's a nice apartment, you know. It belonged to my granddaughter. She's mm. gone off to live in the city now. There's nothing left here for young people. So they all leave. I'm young, and I just moved here. See? Anything can happen. <laughs> That's true, indeed. My granddaughter is about your age, so maybe you'll like it. Here you are, young lady. The key to the apartment. My legs are too frail to go with you. <laughs> it's at the lower end of the village on the shady square. Visit it, and if you like it, come back and let me know.